Who is responsible for Taiwan's defense? Part 104. Background to U.S. Insular Area Studies. Populated Major Insular Areas. Brief Introduction. Type 1. Insular Areas Acquired by Conquest. In a treaty signed at the end of the Spanish-American War in 1898, Spain ceded Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Philippines to the United States. In the same treaty, Spain's sovereignty over Cuba was relinquished, but no recipient was designated. Notes. The direct result of conquest is to obtain jurisdiction over territory. In the post-Napoleonic period, such jurisdiction is not annexation, but merely military occupation. Type 2. Insular areas acquired by purchase. The United States purchased the Virgin Islands from Denmark in 1917. Type 3. Insular areas acquired by agreement. Great Britain and Germany renounced their claims over Samoa in February 1900. The island group was then formally ceded to the United States by the Samoan chiefs in mid-April, with ratification by the U.S. Congress in 1929. Type 4. Insular areas acquired after United Nations trusteeship as a Commonwealth of the United States. The United States was responsible for administering the Northern Mariana Islands, NMI, after World War II as a UN trusteeship. The U.S. Congress approved the mutually negotiated covenant to establish a Commonwealth of the NMI in political union with the United States in 1976. NMI voters ratified the local constitution in March 1977, and it became effective in January 1978. U.S. Presidential Proclamation No. 5564, Implemented the Covenant, effective November 3, 1986. Note, the above Type 1, Type 2, Type 3, and Type 4 insular areas are all classified as U.S. unincorporated territory.